Good morning everybody, this is Jan Kor and it's early morning here in Germany and I'm just taking the time to show you some behind the scenes of a redesign that I'm doing on WP Mastery currently. As I said in my email newsletter, I'm going to revamp WP Mastery and take this to the professional level that you're probably used seeing of me. And let me back up a bit. WP Mastery um, is a brand switching that I've decided to do in early 2016 uh, back from my personal brand to WP Mastery and in that decision was included to merge all the WordPress sites that I was running into one WordPress multi-site. However, with this merging process I've switched the theme as well and this brought some issues with it. Um, it's not related to the theme per se, but to the strategic approach that I took about it, because to that time I wasn't paying too much attention to my website, to be honest, because I was working on several uh, client projects that were paying the bills. And I just wanted to show you the mistakes that I've made, basically, and I've just um, wanted to give you an insight on how I work and what I'm planning to do with WP Mastery. So this is the site as is currently. It's based on a Studio Press theme. Uh, it's the Gen the Genesis Child Theme Magazine Pro, and as you can see, it looks okay, and that was the reason why I chose this theme. But it doesn't really look unique. So it's just uh, the blog on the home page, and it's some ads here and there. Uh, it's an affiliate ad over here. Here's the opt-in for my newsletter of course here's an affiliate recommendation for codable that's really a great platform and then there's the uh, content promotion summit which comes from google ads so i'm even an affiliate myself for this but google ads just shows the generic ads on here and you can tell already this the strategy for the redesign wasn't um, really thought out that well due to the lack of time that I had. But um, let me show you what I'm working on right now. So this is, for the nerds of you, this is on my local machine, it's not live yet. This is the new design for WP Mastery that I'm working on. So this is way more prominent and way more unique and professional compared to this theme. It's uh, back a little bit to the personal brand. However, I still have the WP Mastery logo over there on the top. And I'm just showing you the home page because I'm uh, trying to finish the home page first. But as you can tell, it's um, way less cluttered. It's way more focused on getting opt-ins rather than monetizing the website with Google Ads or affiliate ads or something like that. And this is basically the approach or the, the main lesson that I learned is um, don't chase the easy money with ads or with affiliates. And um, even though this might work for some, for me it certainly didn't. I was making some money with ads, don't get me wrong, I was making some money as affiliate. But um, Everybody will tell you, and I had to learn it twice, <laughs> that monetizing your own list and building the list is most important. And this button will uh, open a pop-up for an opt-in form, and this button will open a pop-up for a different opt-in for the website checklist for entrepreneurs. Here's the blog, and then there's probably a section about the WP Summit coming as well. Compare this very personalized approach to this very generic approach of blogging. It's a, this has no personality at all. And this is probably the most important lesson that I learned is when you're building a website, make sure that it reflects your personality. And what I found is people, um, for some reason, people attract to persons more than they attract to these abstract websites, which when you think about it just makes sense because this is how you um, behave in normal life as well. You're not attracted to brands, you're attracted to persons. 
you're not attracted to companies, you're attracted to, to the person working for them. And this is the most important lesson. I'm not saying that this magazine pro theme is um, a bad theme at all. I think it still looks pretty good, but I used it the wrong way. So in this um, re-evaluation process of my website, I found that the personality was missing. And even though I could have added an image of me right here and um, removed the ads and stuff like that, it just wouldn't have been the same because the website, uh, the homepage would still be this cluttered blog layout with uh, two column layouts and one column featured an article and stuff like that. And that's just not feeling right for me. So even when I go through the, um, through the single page layout, for example, it looks clean, it looks decent, it looks okay, but, um, it's just nothing special to it. Compare this to the very basic layout that I have on the new blog currently, which is um, a nice tile that will get some more styling, uh, some breadcrumbs. You can't see them because the color is white currently. Uh, different font combinations. The headline is Montserrat and the text is uh, Meriwether. That's both uh, Google fonts. And there will be a sidebar, of course. There will be uh, an opt-in right here, and there will probably be affiliate ads and Google ads as well on the side. But you can already tell that it looks um, quite different with the header coming up right here with these nice little touches um, on hover getting a white text instead of a gray and things like that with these sidebar with the search field going all over the place instead of just having the standard search form. And in case you're wondering what theme I'm using for this redesign, this is called the Ken from Artbeast. Let me just put up the demo. And it's pretty much the standard theme for me that I use on all of the pages. So this is the demo, demos.artbeast.net slash the Ken. And as you can tell already, it looks pretty slick. It's a very elegant layout, very minimalistic sites can be built with it. And I think it's a great platform to start with and then customize it yourself. If you have a little bit of feeling for design and for probably writing some HTML, JavaScript and CSS code, I use this as a platform for most of the client projects because it just allows um, pretty good customization, I think. You can build one pages with it. You can build um, several block layouts with it, but I, I don't want to go too much into the details of the can. Rather, let me summarize the most important lessons that I learned from um, testing a standard magazine layout compared to the personal branded layout. If you are an entrepreneur like me and um, you want to have people connect to you, I found that um, selling a service through a magazine style layout simply isn't the best idea. I would go all the time, I would go with um, a personalized approach like this one. Obviously the structure is a little bit copied from uh, Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income. And that's another lesson that I learned over the past few years is see what works for others and then add your own styling to it. Obviously my imagery is not as great as Pat's and the uh, designer is not as great as Pat's, but um, this design just works for me personally and it probably doesn't appeal to, um, yeah, just to the audience that Pat has, but that, that's not the point. The point is see or use a structure that is proven to work by the big guys, see what they do, and then turn your own spin on it and create your own version of it. And either you can find a theme that looks pretty similar, or you need to hire someone to build it for you. But uh, the most important thing is reevaluate your website probably every six months, especially if you don't see the results that you expect from the website. 
in my case, the navigation here is a different is, is another problem. Just to get back to this WP Mastery current design, it's too cluttered. Here's about and home, and here are our categories of blog posts. And while the idea was to create way more content than I was used to and to bring other authors on board and stuff like that, to really build a magazine, um, it turned out that this is not the website that I want to run or that, that I'm able to manage currently, let's phrase it that way, because I still have many client projects going on and I don't have the time to uh, run a magazine on the side of that. So be very, very clear about the intention that you have with the website. And yeah, let me, um, I, I think this is a good end for the, for this review. I don't want to go too much into the details of this redesign here, but to just give you an idea of what I'm working on currently. So to summarize, when you have a website and you don't see the results that you expect, have a close look at the website and see what you actually have done with it. So be very purposeful about the design of the intention. Make sure that the navigation is clear. Make sure that your most important business assets get highlighted. For example, this opt-in form, it doesn't stand out enough. Even though there's this orange button, it doesn't highlight the most important, or it doesn't contribute to my business by getting more leads. The subscription rate went down a lot just by using this site design. And I guess you can tell why it's the copy, but it's also the design. And yeah, just, just be intentional with what you do. Put yourself in the shoes of your customers and just make sure that every part of the design contributes to your business assets. In this case, the design puts me in the focus, not the WP Mastery brand so much, but me. I will refer to WP Mastery in this section below, but the most important part of this section is this big get started here button where people get an opt-in form or people will be, will be redirected to another site where they can learn more about me and the WP Mastery project. And then there's multiple offers for people to take it uh, to learn more about me and to take the next step on the website, whether it's up opting in and downloading the checklist or whether it's just reading another blog post. And uh, basically, that's the goal with the redesign. So I want to get back onto the route of building an uh, email list. And I think email lists are probably the most important asset in any online business or not probably they are, and you need to nurture them well. So don't go with a design that doesn't build your email list or that does generate leads for you. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. And I just, again, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm working on currently. It's uh, 20 past eight in the morning. So I'm just having another coffee and yeah, have a great day.